Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, you may be asking yourself why I only have uh, eyebrows on and the reason is because I am testing a product today. I'm gonna explain to you a little more about that, but I wanted to like at least do my eyebrows for you so you weren't like, whoa, where did your eyebrows run off to? Moving on, I am super cheap when it comes to products and what I spend money on unless it is something that works really well. So I decided to do a whole series of videos for you guys. I will be getting the cheap, no-name brand version of things. I'm gonna test them and I'm gonna tell you what my verdict is, whether I think the cheap one's okay for that specific product or if you need to go a little higher end. I have been seeing so many people use a beauty blender and I was like, I gotta get my hands on one of those. Of course, me being super cheap, cheap like I am, I was like, what does Amazon have for me? So I found these. These are uh, pro makeup sponges by Beauty Junkies. It comes with like all these different ones here. You can take a look at those up close. Uh, so I was like, wow, that's pretty fancy. That looks awesome. These were $13. And now I got a little something in my Sephora bag. How exciting is it when you like take one of these home? You just like want to get home and like rip through it. It's so exciting buying new makeup and fun stuff. I bought this one. This is the actual Beauty Blender brand. It uh, comes with a little one for concealer and two of these guys and some soap. And this one's $39. So $13.39. We're gonna try both of them, and I'm gonna show you how they work. I'm gonna tell you which one I like better. Is it worth it to spend 40, or can you get away with a 13 on this one? Before we get started with the sponges and all the testing and all that frickin' fun stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prep my face with my Smashbox primer here. I use this green one, cause um, it cancels out the red. What you're supposed to do with these guys is you are supposed to wet them and squeeze out all of the water. So we're going to go ahead and wet these and uh, let the magic happen. I went ahead and got the Beauty Junkie set moist already. We're going to go ahead and put some concealer on with this. So I squeeze out all the water and it's just a little damp. Now this set does not come with a tiny one like the Beauty Blender set. So this is basically the smallest one that we've got. It's, it's a little hard to put on your skin like that. Let's continue to use it and see what we think here. It's a little harder to get in these little areas in here uh, with this kind of larger tip there. It's not really quite as pointed as the um, Beauty Blender brand. Okay, finished with concealer. We're gonna move on to foundation. Continuing to use the same Beauty Junkie brand. Now I'm gonna apply this just on here. There's a hair on it. And I'm gonna do half my face with these, uh, the Beauty um, Junkies, and then the other half, I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender brand. Oh, I also wanted to say that I, I'm totally aware that my foundation does not match my body or my face right now. I haven't fake tan for like three months now and so I've lost all my tan and I'm still stuck with my super dark um, foundation. I know you're gonna be like, oh God, it doesn't match. I understand. It's not really a, a great coverage. It's kind of leaving little lines where the edge of this is. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little harder to get in these areas here. So if I wanted um, a heavier coverage, I would add another layer, but right now I kind of just want to see how these tools put, put the foundation on my face and how it sits. Okay, so I'm finished with this side of my face. I used the Beauty Junkies. It's kind of hard on your face. Um, I would like a little more soft. The reason why is because then it is able to kind of go around the contours of your face and kind of apply the foundation in uh, an easier fashion and a little more naturally. That's my opinion of that. Let's compare it to the Beauty Blender brand. Now that we've got the Beauty Blender brand one all moist, it's, it's really soft. It's a lot softer than this one. So I have a feeling that I'm, I'm gonna like this one more, but we'll see. Because this one's a lot softer, I, I noticed that it's not leaving those little round marks like the other one does when you press. That's always a plus. It's uh, That makes less work for you, and I like less work. I'm wearing two different earrings right now. <laughs> I'm liking how this is going on. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use this for around my eye hair since the other one, the other set didn't have that. I'm gonna use some of my concealer. I'm able to get in here a lot closer and tighter to my eye. See, this eye, I was able to really get in here with this, and this one, you can kind of tell, is lacking a little bit of coverage. So I like that that set comes with that small guy. It's very helpful. The verdict is in. This side of my face was done with the $13 um, cheapo sponges from Amazon. This side of my face was done with the Beauty Blender brand. I really don't like these guys. You get what you pay for in this instance. These are cheap and they're too hard and I don't like how they apply the product on my face. These are definitely the way to go. This is the Beauty Junkie sponge and this is the Beauty Blender. The This one over here, the Beauty Junkie is the cheaper one. All the product kind of just sits right on top of it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of how it's going on your face. Whereas this one is a little more porous and it soaks up a little bit more of your product, but it's going to apply it on your face in a much more um, natural way. As natural as, you know, MAC foundation can look or whatever it is that you're using. So I would definitely spend the $39 for this setup with these guys as opposed to these. Don't waste your $13. These aren't, these are, these aren't gonna work for me. All right guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching my channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would also love to hear your ideas. What products do you want me to test? Whatever product you give me, I will go find either the expensive one or the cheaper one. I'll tell you if I would, if I would rock it or if I would use it and spend my money on it so that you don't have to go out there and do it yourself and waste all your doll hairs on shitty products. I'm gonna waste all my money on it for you. Win-win situation. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, bye.